Good morning, Facebook world. Welcome to Tuesday's Morning Mental Prep this May 23rd of 2023. I'm going to get my DFT on, my mood support, which I so need this week. I'm feeling a little down. Different than last week. Like Monday last week, I had just high levels of anxiety. It wasn't even a matter, you know, it was anxiety, nervousness, um, kind of fear. This week, it's more of a just down. I don't really feel anxious or fearful, really. Um, more kind of sad, right? Anyway, so my 5-TH... P in the black label, which is a mood booster, <laughs> is so beneficial, let me tell you. But, uh, get my candy cane going on. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Let me get my um, curtain opened up here. Let some natural light in. All right, guys. Look. How is everyone on this Tuesday? Like I said, welcome to our morning mental prep. I'm gonna go ahead and get my timer set. Let me take a drink of this, take a look at my vision board back there. Oh my goodness, that's so good. I know I say that every day, I can't help it, it's so good. All right. My hair done this weekend. I'm excited. It'll be the last time I color it until after Halloween uh, because things like salt water and just washing it more and pool water all strip out the color. If you know anything about color, then you know that. So, and because it costs money and it's, you know, I am strategic about it. I only color it during certain parts of the year when I'm not going to be washing it every other day or, every, you know, more than once a week or I'm getting in the, you know, kayaking and boating and fishing and getting in the salt water and stuff more. So I don't do that. But, um, and I'm only coloring it again this late in the season because I want it to be nice and fresh when I go to Ohio. <laughs> what can I say? All right, guys, let's get our morning, let's get our brains right for the day. I guess I do need to turn this on, maybe. All right. Waiting for approval. <laughs> I remember this one, and partially because I, I see this a lot, and it's in, hey, let me just read it. Are you still waiting for someone to tell you that you're doing it right? Whatever it is. Good morning, Marcel. Thanks for joining us. Where are you joining us from? Okay, then. Here you go. You are doing it right. You are already doing it right. Keep doing it. I still teeter on this um, from feeling like, really, am I doing it right? To doing it is better than not doing it, therefore I'm doing it right. I like something Jordan Peterson said about having a plan. A bad plan is better than no plan, right? A bad plan can be changed and adjusted as needed. No plan and you ain't doing shit, <laughs> right? So. Doing it is better than not doing it because you can learn as you go and adjust and grow and get better, right? Just doing it. That's why I get on here and, and just I foolishly talk. I, I don't think it's foolishly, you know, but oh, my extension cord. Um, but I don't have any experience like doing this. I don't have, I didn't go to school to do this. I don't, you know, get up in front of t and talk to people. In fact, I've avoided that kind of thing my entire life. Um, and it still makes me nervous to get up in front of t and talk to people less. So still very nervous. And 
So when I think about my bigger dreams and sharing my life story and helping to change people, I know that I have to speak to people to do that. And that may be me, that may be in mass. Who knows? I don't know where this is going. I know that I'm just healing out loud, essentially, because someone may need to see that to help them, right? The idea is uh, better together. So. Um, We're going to go ahead and move on to the Law of Attractions. Um. I started this page yesterday, it popped up, it was perfect, and this is great because several of these had not been read yet, Um, and if you have been listening to me for any time, you know that we are coming to the end of this book. (laughs) I will be getting a new one when I get back from Ohio, so that um, when we have completed every entry in this book, then we can move on to the next. (laughs) So today, Law of Attraction tells us, aim for a healthy expression of emotion. Aim for a healthy expression of emotion. Your emotions are valid. The way that you feel is valid. Even if the way that you're acting out of that is inappropriate. I'm going to say it again. Your feelings and emotions are valid. Even if the way that you're acting out of those feelings and emotions is inappropriate. Just because your actions are incorrect and wrong does not mean that it invalidates the way that you feel. But just because you're angry doesn't mean you get to go beat that person to a pulp. Like, do you you know what I mean? Like, as much as you feel like that, you know, I mean, and I use my dad as an example. Just think about how how much anger I had. So... And if I just use that anger in a bad way, I don't really have any energy or emotion for him anymore. When I explore those memories when I'm writing and things like that, it does hurt, sometimes physically, and take my breath away, and I cry, or, you know, it does derail me for a few days. Um, I don't, but it's, I think that it's that pain from the moment resurfacing because I was so disassociated then at that time I was not feeling the soul shattering effects um, in that moment and so I'm feeling them now I don't have any real anger or anything toward that person that human I understand that there is something that happened to him in his life that created that person. He never dealt with those things, whatever they were. I don't even know why I don't, um, as far as we're aware, there was no abuse in that respect, but I, we don't, there was something, you know, that triggered something. And because I understand that I just kind of don't have any time or energy for him as a human anymore. I don't want to be running into him. Anyway, so I said all that to aim for a healthy expression of emotion. Um, this is why I have a timer. <laughs> it keeps me focused. Um, but you have to have stories sometimes to understand where I come from. When I talk about things, I talk from my experience. I'm not just talking because I read a book. I read a book because of my experience. Right? Is it Really? Um, but, you know, so think about, I I can say that, you know, my feelings are valid. Even if I, I, even if I went and beat the pulp out of him, you might even say that that's valid, but that's still another human being that is hurting and hurt people, hurt people. And I don't want to be that. So you have to express your emotions in a healthy way in order to purge them in order to release them and and to let go of them um you have to figure out what that is for you but that's what the law of attraction is going to tell us today mental health professionals say that it is unhealthy to suppress your emotions instead you are encouraged to express feelings in positive ways in order to process through them (laughs) Getting to the root of anger, for example, is an important precursor to working with the law of attraction because once you know what triggers it, you can deal with the cause and then forgive and release. (laughs) 
ultimately you're only hurting yourself whether you're working with the law of attraction or not when you're holding on to those negative emotions you're hurting yourself physically there I mean there's medical evidence that shows stress caught like we talked about this already before right so what are you're not hurting that person you're not getting revenge on that person you are not getting any benefit from that if you're not processing it healthily, if you're holding on to it in a grudge like suppression like way, it's causing dis ease. I promise you. <sighs> Working on your self esteem proves easier once old issues have been resolved. It's important that you feel worthy and deserving of the good things in life and that you develop a success consciousness. Your brain is the most powerful manifest manifestation tool you have. It needs care and attention for it to perform its role in working with the law of attraction. I mean, this is true even without the law of attraction. You know, your brain, in order to work premium levels, in order to, right, you need to deal with the shit that's in there that's wrong. Mm -hmm. You have to deal with it. And if you don't deal with it, then you have to accept the consequences of what that means. And that, that that's going to be a whole slew of things, you know. It just depends on the situation and all of that kind of, all the variables, right? So my timer went off <laughs> with my goal to keep it at 10 minutes. So um, work on your emotions. Work on expressing your healthy emotions or your emotions healthily. Stress causes so many fits. Right. Okay, listen, Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Kat. Those are negative emotions attract more negativity. The only way to overcome it is to stay positive and release it. Yes, but to release it, you have to work through it. You can't just... So, while Kat especially knows I am a very positive person, that has come from working through the shit that I've been dumped since, uh, you know, in my life. Um, comes from doing the self-development work. I've always been a fairly happy, positive person, but in the last two, three to six years, it's really just grown. Um, and just continues to grow because I keep learning and growing, you know, through various avenues, a large in part due to exploring my trauma. For me, it's trauma that may not be the level of trauma to you. It may just be dysfunction. It may, you know, what have you, but, and Sheila, I like that what you said, I've been talking about that the last couple of days, maybe over the last week of my, it keeps popping up in my lives that stress because negative emotion, positive emotion, you have a thinking feeling loop. Dr. Joe Dispenza teaches this. You think something, you feel something. And then that feeling creates another thought that creates that same feeling. And then you're in this thinking feeling loop, right? <laughs> you got to break that. You break that for me was affirmations being positive, positive quotes, lots of things led to lots of different things, motivational speeches. Um, but it's interesting to me how we know that stress causes so many physical problems. There is medical evidence of that, just like there is medical evidence that shows meditation <laughs> can, can heal you, right? Look up Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, yet we're not as quick to accept that. We're not as quick to say, yeah, I can change my mindset to a more positive mindset and have a health benefit to it, have a physical reaction to that by healing your body somehow. Right? Think about it. We're so, you know, hey, yeah, we know stress causes problems, even though we still don't really do a lot to reduce our stress. But we don't, we're not as accepting of the opposite end of that spectrum that says if you are positive and you're working on your mindset and, and affirmations and things that it can have that, right? So I, I just, it's just something that's come up recently for me that, I, in, that I've been thinking about. And I'm, I just don't, it just leads me to say this and then we'll move on. And I'll go finish the rest of my morning mental prep. I am on a quest of questioning everything. This includes whether or not I'm actually questioning everything. 
because if we say stress causes ne uh, you know negative effects on the physical body but we're not as accepting of that then uh, of the opposite end of that spectrum then we're not really questioning and everything because we're accepting on some level that that doesn't work those positive thoughts and and mindsets doesn't work but the stress does so this is <laughs> you cannot grow if you don't question everything, even whether or not you're questioning everything, because if you're not questioning whether or not you're questioning everything, then on some level you have accepted the belief that this is good or bad or whatever it is, and therefore you're not going to explore it anymore, <laughs> right? Because you think you know everything about it, so you're not going to learn anything more about it, right? Um, it's been a little shattering for me to have this thought in the last, it's only been in the last couple of weeks. I'm questioning everything, even whether or not I'm questioning everything. Um, but I'm excited about what path it's going to take me down and what I'm going to learn. And, and that's just my ultimate goal is to continue learning. I have such an insatiable desire to just soak up all the information and learn what I can and, you know, what have you. Um, that it's just not going to stop. It, even when it, even when it jars me, you know, in a way I'm listening to, um, gosh, I'm supposed to keep this at 10 minutes. We'll talk about this another time. Even when it's jarring. Hey, Laura. Oh, I know. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> hey, Ms. Ariel. Okay. I'm out. My timer went off like too many minutes ago. Um, I'm going to go finish my morning mental prep, which includes my affirmation statements. Um, and my gratitude list and a 10 or 15 minute writing dump. I encourage you all to do the same thing. Get some sort of morning routine. Start small. You know, I started out with doing a 30 minute yoga session as soon as I got up and, and, and some reading and, and affirmations. Um, and it's developed into a whole thing. Birds outside my window. At the very least, start with gratitude. Start with gratitude. Sit with your kids. Sit with your spouse, your pets, your plants, your food at dinner. Do it into your water cup. You know, just I'm grateful for this water and the nutrition that it's going to give my body and the hydration that it's going to give my body. Um, and if it sounds silly, that's okay. Be silly. That's a happy feeling, feeling right? A happy, joyous feeling. But also, I encourage you to look up Mazaru to Mazaru Emoto and his crystal, his water crystal experiment or the rice experiments, and talk to me about how. how it doesn't work. <laughs> oh my gosh, my brain is just flooding with so much information. Gratitude. Sit in your gratitude. What are you grateful for? Let me know in the comments. What are you grateful for? And like I say, if it doesn't do anything else other than just make you feel good for a moment, isn't that worth it? What's wrong with feeling good? What is it about, hey, I'm going to sit and list my gratitudes simply because it feels good, but uh, that's not really a good reason, so I'm not going to do it. It's not a worthwhile reason, so I'm, why? Why doesn't it, why isn't it okay for you to feel good even for a few minutes? Otherwise, you would do it, right? Right? I am grateful for my insatiable desire to learn. It makes me insane sometimes, I feel like, because there's so much information coming in or in moments like this, so much information flooding in, um, which is one of the reasons I started doing this live is with you guys is so that I could practice not w just grabbing all the information and trying to give it to you all at once. There are certain pieces of information that go with the topic at, ha at hand and not so many others, right? Yay, I'm so ready. I'm so happy you joined. I love it. Don't ever be afraid to join and make comments. Like I say, you never know who you're inspiring. And that's a hard thing to take in because cause you probably think, I know I do sometimes. Who the hell am I to inspire anybody, right? But I, I have had enough experience now of people saying that, that I do. That's helped. But um, I still deal with that some days. I'm still like, who the hell am I, you know? But... My life story the first 12 years is some of the most horrific things that go on in the world. 
And so for me, that fuels me to say, that's who the hell I am. Because I'm proof that doesn't matter what happens, you can be a happy, healthy, positive, productive, successful, kind, caring human being. And so many other things, right? So I'm grateful for that. I'm, I'm grateful for that power, for that knowledge, for that understanding that it's not arrogance because that sometimes creeps up for me. So go sit in your gratitude. I encourage you to do the same thing. Take five minutes, find five things that you're grateful for that happened in the last 24 hours. This went super long. Thanks for hanging in there with me because I can talk all day. I'm really thinking about, uh, you know, moving to my YouTube. I do upload them to my YouTube, but I don't want to take it from here because it's been here for so long. And so I'm not sure how I want to transition into that, but you can always check them out on my YouTube. They're all on my YouTube channel. Well, May, I got to get probably the last week and a half uploaded again. But so what are you grateful for? Go sit in your gratitude. Really feel (laughs) when you say something that you're grateful for. Don't just say it and then move on to the next thing. Really take a second or two, five, 10 seconds, 20 seconds to feel the gratitude for that item. And then, you know, move on to that next one. Lots of stuff. (laughs) Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. And as always, peace and love.